Okay, guys. This now Energy City Electrical Engineering. I just want to use this opportunity. Understand? Make I for show sure now one or two things about uh, about charging gas. Hmm? Normally, so many technicians like me, like this, and they go work to go charge gas for AC. They don't get the time to observe. See, observe. See, they need to use gauge. Understand? They need to use gauge to gauge the AC. To know waiting day and waiting them go put for inside the AC. So, I just use this opportunity now tell you how you go feel do something like that. You see this gauge where I just carry so now. This gauge na single gauge manifold. You get the one you may call double gauge manifold. That one then are for people to do complex job like HVAC or high uh, split units. I see they be so. This one here now, this one will do you everything where you want to do. This one here, yes, it's good. It's it very, very flexible for you to carry, come on, go where you want to go, for you to still bring and bust, understand, safely. Now, as it be like this now, if you want to charge R22 gas, this video is basically for R22 gas. If you want to charge R22 gas, see what you always do here, so that means you know not fit, they make this mistake again. With this gauge, I will just take time to show you everything. Now, we could just dive into the main thing. This gauge they come with two terminals. They come with two terminals if you buy them new. Understand? This the one where uh, I plug this uh, yellow charging hose. The one where I plug this yellow charging hose. Go go the AC valve. Sure you get. Go go the AC valve. Why the one where I plug the red charging hose? Go go the cylinder valve. Understand? Now that point now 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 you gonna say you don't already they set already. And you can only charge gas for AC when AC they run. Understand? When AC they run for so, hand. Here you get. Video now, I will fit teach you how you go take no waiting day AC already. Waiting you need to put. You know, say there are some ACB say if you want charge gas, you go check them. 22 gas, you can't check them. You can't know the level of gas where they go put around at 0 0.48, 0 0.49, 0 0.46, or 1 kg, or 1 point something kg. Understand? But on a normal, on a normal, if you use single gauge manifold like this, you don't even need to know the kg. But then they simply say make the PSI. Make the PSI. Understand? Just rhyme well well. If they do 22 gas, you know say okay, this is the PSI for 22 gas. If you do 14 gas, you know say okay, this is the PSI for 14 gas. So as they charge the gas now, understand? As they charge the gas, you gonna say okay, PSI for 14 gas. I don't reach them. Now again, now you go do and definitely that level when they so. You go chill well, well. You know, if you get issue with your client or something, come back and show you how to use them. So, as I'm gonna try to explain before, this one go enter this the, the AC valve. Why this other side go go to the gas cylinder? If you just plug them for AC directly, if now AC were not in there at all, at all, where gas no damn at all, you go drag this, you go drag this hand come down like this more, you go drag the hand come down like this one come enter this blue side. So, you get. Go drag and come down, but if na AC where say uh, gas there, but liquid no day, she gets pressure there, but liquid no day. You go move, you go move this hand to any number where just day here. If na 22 gas, if na R22 A gas, you go not say the PSI for R22 gas now between 60 PSI to 70 PSI. So anything where you just did do may just range between that 60 to 70 PSI. As you charge, as you don't plug the 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 charging hose finish, just the charge them small small. You can't use this place now. The off arm, the on arm, the off arm, the on arm, small small. That would be an interval of like uh, just say just say like uh, one one minute or two two minutes. So that means you no know, over pressure the AC. So that means they use also they observe where this thing don't reach. Immediately just put them. This thing go move small. You go just they move. As they put them small, you off them. This thing go move small, put them small, off them. This, if this hand comes down for 60, comes down for this 60 where you see here, so if you're there for that place, your AC don't gauge. But if, you know, say, so get as you go and come out this valve from AC, you go end up losing some gas, understand? So for that case, you need to put a meeting past the 60, small, come there for like 70. Now, this point now, now be 70, in between this. 60 and 80. This big line here, now be 70. That's 70 when in there. So now, if you put your gas, make it go reach there. If before you come out this charging hose from the AC body, 
they think you can't drop small. That is to say, you are still at a safer hand. Okay, you get you are still at the safer side. That is to say, your gas don't gauge. All those things where you could see as a, a outdoor fan go the hot small. You go you know go come sometimes you go the hot you go, you go the cool. All those kinds of things. you know go the observer. As long as say you know what thing you they do. Just with this video now, I don't give a simple explanation on how, how that kind of thing will go. That is if you are charging R22 gas.